Hello and welcome back to Restaurant Shopino Corporate ID Help video. In this video, we will see how to edit text and colors in Adobe Illustrator. So, let's open up the uh, Adobe Illustrator file. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be working in CS5 versions. You can, of course, open the file by just double clicking on the icon, going through a file open from the Adobe Illustrator or I'm just going to drag my file directly into the Adobe Illustrator and it will open up. If you intend to work on just one of the items here, what you need to do, it, if you don't want to change the entire system, let's say you just want to work on your business card, the easiest way to do that is to go to File, Save As, we're going to name this we're going to leave the name, for instance, or you can name it wherever you want. Go to save. And once the, okay, continue. And once it opens up, you'll have here, save each artboard to separate file. Now these two are artboards one and two. So I'm just going to go to here. I'm going to set the range of one and two. And let's say if it's some other range, you might enter one three five seven i'll show you later how to see which artboards are what elements go to ok and when you go back to your folder as you can see it will open up these two separate files now under the uh, under each file you'll have uh, the information box where you can see what is the print area what is the trim size what is the color mode um, this is the color mode that I recommend you send if you are going to print in offset, uh, the colors that were used, etc. When we open up the layers panel, and if you don't see it, go to window, layers, or just use the F7 shortcut, you can see that first three layer files are print info file, let me just show you, this is basically the information about the print, where you can find where is the bleed, where is cut line or the trim, text safety and which areas are non-printing areas. Now the next is the info box, this is what I've shown you just before. And finally we have the die cut or, and the fold layer. This is the technical part that you'll need to see uh, send with your files. Make sure you always send the die cut and fold because this is the area where the actual cut and the folding will happen and this is something your printing service needs to have. So before sending your file to printing service you can delete the print info, you can leave the info box and make sure to leave the die cut and fold a layer if you're going to work on them, if your that specific instance has that file. Now, when it comes to the color, let's begin with the color. We can either, let's go here, we can either edit the colors the old fashioned way, which is basically just selecting the colors that we want to edit, double clicking on the fill color, and then we can change it or if you want to change the color scheme throughout the entire design the faster way to do that is utilizing the global colors you can find the global colors here in the swatches panel and you'll see basically three types of colors you'll see these colors with a little white triangle on the bottom and these are the global colors the colors with the white <clears throat> triangle in the bottom and this dot are spot colors they are usually used for uh, die cut or the information templates and these are the ones that are not going to be printed in the final design so what we need to do now is we double click on the color we wish to change make sure we have the preview button and let's change this to some blue and darker and voila, we have our color changed. And as you can see, it not only changes the color of the shapes, it will also change the color of the text and everywhere where that color was utilized. 
Now, uh, in these transparent parts, like uh, of design, where we have this logo uh, cap here, we are utilizing uh, the gradient tool. Now, the gradient is also created by these uh, global colors, so you don't have to go through each and every one of these. All you have to do is change the colors the main swatch colors so let me do that too and the gradient will be changed also and voila we have the entire color change done in literally seconds um, now the same thing applies of course for the font color changes if it was um, in one of these global colors all you have to do is double click on it and change it okay that was it when it comes to color change now let's move on to the text first let's make sure that we have the character panel open and if you don't see the character panel uh, go to window type and then character or simply select Control T now if you don't have any font selected it will give you the default font um, once you select your font you can see it changes to the font that was being utilized. Now, um, let's select, let's edit the text. There are two ways of editing the text. You can either directly select the text, double click on it, and then type in your own address. Or you can select this T uh, icon, which is the type tool in the tools panel. And once you hover over the text, it can be edited. Just click on it. And then if you already have the information, go to simply copy and paste it here. Or you can, like I said, just type in your own text. Now, if you want to make additional changes to the font itself, you can do that in the character panel. You can change things like the font family. Let's say this is not the font I want to use. I want to use this one. So you can change the font family, font style, the sizes, kerning, etc. Um, and I recommend you play with this um, character panel to make the best use of the template. Okay, that was it for this video. Um, uh, before I go away, I just wanted to mention one thing. Uh, as you have seen, uh, this logo item here is um, transparent. So in order to work with it, you'll need to uh, open, where is it, the appearance panel? No. Yes. Uh, once you open the appearance panel, you'll see here is giving you the Okay. It's giving you the opacity of 10%. Let's say you wanted to make it a little bit bigger. You can change it here. Just simply click on the opacity panel and once you manipulate, manipulate it, it will change the coloring. Okay, uh, you can play with blend modes here. We can make it multiply, make it soft light. Um, and that's it. Or you can just simply erase it and, and add your own design to whatever you want. Okay, now again, this was it for this video. In the next video, we'll see how to edit the template in Adobe InDesign. See you then. Bye.